That's the point. Comedians are me. fucking doomed. You cannot be yeah. a comic anymore in this yeah. generation. We right? talked about it's, that. You have to be very PG. Yeah. And comic is not PG. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, we got a comedian right here in Chance. You know what I mean? So it just, this is bullshit, bro, in my opinion. You know, it makes me think, and this is the point. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. The point I was going to make to make that full circle is the reason I think we kind of like that and miss that is he kind of reminds you of just one of those bullshit, you know, like PE teachers or something that we had growing up in the 90s. It's like a person something you like love to hate. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, in a way, like, you, know, you just, I don't know, like, nowadays just like, and I know this is like a huge pivot, but nowadays like with Biden and shit, like, it's just, he's not as hateable or like, you know what I'm saying? Like, not it's even like, way. he's just like, Very yeah, amazing. it's like, you don't care. Lukewarm. Let's go like, yeah, to be a uniter. Right, but is it happening? Because like, is he like really doing anything? Like, oh, sorry, this kind of goes down. I think it's to, all on us. You this, know? I guess, at a bigger, if you're looking at like the bigger dynamics of this, it also kind of reminds me of sports, and everything reminds me of sports, right? Ha ha ha. But in the sense of when you don't have super teams, I mean, NBA is more fun when the Warriors, Lakers, whoever are good. That's a good point. Yankees are good. That's Cowboys good are good. You just pay That's more attention. Because sometimes you root against them. You just want to see them fail. And that's fucked up that we as humans have that, but we have that, you know? So there is this whole, you know, we keep saying we don't want binaries and good versus evil and this and that, and the, you know. And it is the one binary I would change is left versus right, you know? Like, just calm down. Let's find multiple points of views but i mean that that head to head back and forth is always entertaining to watch but as entertaining as it might be like battle. this is still the leader of the most right. powerful country right. in the world it's not a game like right. no, no, like no. this motherfucker like you can't at some point it's like all right like we can only have a reality show in the white house for four years before it's like yo like shit might get fucked up like right we gotta actually be about our business you but know, that's what's, like, what i find so interesting is the people a lot of the people that that wanted him out are kind of on that kind of not you know it's 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 a non-logical take of like hey i wish shit was crazier yeah since we getting crazy it's time for me to come out the closet wait what, what? <laughs> can't stay. i'm a i'm an alien oh, I refer to me as alien i can see uh, it Caleb would know though. You want to? No, I really don't know. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> Should I talk about this? I don't want to talk about this. You guys said? Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Okay, shit. now it's oh, time. Alright, oh, oh, right. huge pivot here. I you know, I'll let you yeah, I'll let you tell the story. I got we stabbed on Father's Day. Right. Yeah, Father's my next door neighbor. <laughs> All right, let's let's set the stage. Oh. All right, so I didn't know that we were gonna cover this, Jack. You need to hear the story too, man. Since I've heard this story, I'll let you take the mic. Alan's gonna tell us about how he got stabbed on Father's Day. What? I'm gonna leave it with that. And leave it. Hey, I'm gonna refill. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna sit right here. Three. Yeah. yeah so uh, I've lived in this house for like ten months. Yeah, not even a year yet. And uh, my neighbor. Right next door, never said two words to me. I recognized when I moved in, it was a dude that went to Lamar, my high school with yeah. me. And uh, I won't say his name because it's a pending case. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but uh, Chance probably knows him. But uh, anyway, dude never says two words to me. He's like real reclusive, engineer dude, whatever. Ah, in uh, that's why. I yeah, right? So anyway, like I've been out Sunday fun day all day, Father's Day out drinking, whatever. And I was at Griff's in Montrose and I was gonna go meet my homegirl up at fifty fifteen. But I was like, yo, let me go like put my trash cans out on the street yeah. at the house first, because they pick up on Monday morning. Uh -huh. So homeboys out there, like for real, never chill with this dude. He's normally like real cold and shit. I'm pulling my trash cans out, he goes, What's up, dude? Alan Wright? You wanna go to Pistoleros with me and these chicks? I'm like, our right, neighbor, you wanna be neighborly now? Like, <laughs> yeah. fuck yeah, like, let's do it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Homie had already called an Uber. Uber pulls up, like, right at that moment. Uh -huh. Sketchy. Yeah, right? Set up. I was like, shit, man. Anyway, like, we go to Pistoleros, 45 minutes. Chicks bounce. We go to Anvil, another 45 minutes. I was pretty faded, so I know this from looking back at my, like, Google Maps timeline and shit. Uh -huh. Anyway, we end up back at homeboy's house 
right next door to mine, sitting around his kitchen table for like three fucking hours, just shooting the shit, catching up on stories yeah. from high school and shit. Mm -hmm. Good vibes, I'm having a good time. Motherfucker leans in, tries to kiss me. Oh. Yeah, bro. I said, <laughs> I said, you know, bro, like I ain't tripping, like it's all good, like I ain't mad at you, bro. Like we like got the wrong first. vibe, like you know, I like chicks, like it's all good though. Like, like first. you know, you're my neighbor, like I'm not mad at you, man. And he started, and then she gets real weird, man. And he starts like holding himself and like looking around and telling me how I used to get bullied for this shit or whatever. And I'm like, dude, like, I'm your neighbor. Like, we're good, man. Like, something you know, mental. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, uh, yeah, I guess he felt like he had shown too much vulnerability or something, whatever. And so we're sitting so across from each other at the kitchen table like this, just like man to man like this. Uh, and I'm leaning like this, he's leaning. And dude, he either pulls a pocket knife out of his pants or he maybe had a knife on the table. I don't know, but basically just reaches out with the knife in his right fist and boom, boom, right into my, like, because we're sitting across from each other. So his right arm into my left, like, and it goes, it goes down like four inch blade, like uh, twice, uh, right? It's crazy because you miss your tattoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was real fucking drunk. So I was just sitting there looking at him. And we sat there at that table for like five or ten more minutes. After you stabbed me? Yeah. What? Because I was like, just I just kept asking him. I was like, bro, why did you do this? Why did you stab me? And he was like, you tough guy, man. You'd be all right. And I was like, what? Niggas get shot every day, B. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I was just like, for real, look, like, why did you do this? Like, Because like, I don't know, like, it, it wasn't my thought at the time, but I, like, I played it the best way because I was like, Yo, dude's fucking crazy. Like, I gotta keep him calm because I don't know what he's gonna yeah, do, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I just kept asking him that, like, why did you stab me, though? Why did you stab me? And he just was like, I don't know, man. I, and he goes, I'll do it again. Oh. And I was like, wow. Oh. And then I was like, bro, like, we're good, man. Like, what's going on? And then my shit really started bleeding everywhere. Right. Homie just gets up and goes upstairs. And I'm sitting there like, fuck, I gotta get the fuck out of here. And so I'm like staggering around the first floor of his house, end up in his backyard, find my way out, go back to my house right fucking next door. Like, uh, call my boy. My boy comes, call the cops. Uh -huh. They come, arrest him, find the knife. Like, dude was just chilling. He thought everything was cool. Turns out he's on probation for an assault from 2019. Wow. Like, uh, okay. Which is another thing we could talk about. Like, so how these motherfuckers just keep getting bailed yeah. out, bonded out. Like, I thought that was just a like conservative talking point or some shit. It's but the like, thing again. Like, free the people that have gotten into the drug problem. Because you on assault, you on bond for an assault, bro. Bodily injury from 2019, and then you cop an aggravated assault with deadly weapon, and then you get to bond out two days later. First of all, I'm sorry to happen to you, bro. But I, mean, I, mean, it I, words, I do want to say you handled it well, though. You yeah, were smart about like, it. You didn't freak out. Oh, what the fuck? You know what I mean? You yeah, tried to have a conversation. Bro, I was yeah, in yeah. his, bro. But the thing is, we're yeah, in his like, house. Oh, we're in his yeah, house. Yeah, you know how many people are there? Right. 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 Uh -huh, uh -huh. right. Like, and I so I left, yeah. didn't leave a mark on him. Like, Cops went in, yeah. found the found the blade, blood everywhere. Like, That's where, like he can't say shit. He long, can't say shit. I came at him or nothing, cause like you know. Cause when you told me that story, I was like, I didn't even know how to respond. Like mm -hmm. shit, well, man, you are right. The most right? random shit ever, man. Right. Yeah. When you told me the whole story, I was like, oh shit. Kind of funny, but like you it's know, fucked up. It's, it's weird, but it's kind of funny. Yeah. 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 But at the same time, I'm thinking, what would I do in those shoes? I'll tell you in a second later. I thought, what would I do if I were in your shoes? One. I wouldn't have had my gun on me. I need to be better about that. I have a license to carry. Me too, yeah. But I don't, I, I just, I don't know. But if even I then, get, bro, like. You can't shoot him in his house. Right, exactly. So what the fuck do you like, And that's where I'm like. Know? But, but it's yeah. something like at that point. If he stabbed you. Yeah. No, but oh, nobody knows because well, we're the yeah. only two people in that room at that point. Yeah. So yeah. nobody yeah. knows oh, what. Oh, I oh. shot him and then maybe he staggered over, stabbed me. Like, right. you know what I mean? Now, see, so like, yeah, I left story, and like. Alan tried so there was no. Right, exactly. Yeah. Not a mark on this dude's body. Like you know what I mean? Like, I mean, you good can't forensics shit, might like, catch that, you know, but like, that's a dice roll. You know right. for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yes, I mean, real life is especially not, real life is not like if TV. you shoot him and he dies. Right. <laughs> like yeah. then it's uh, like here's everything that happened, and you're like. Okay, okay he went into this dude's house and shot him. Like, after you know, make like, a move on you, okay, I mean, you know, we'll see. Like, now you know again maybe they look at the record and they're like, all right, well that guy, you know, uh, but it's not. Yeah, that, that's a, it's a complex situation either way. Yeah, man. Isn't it crazy like how on TV like. When you see all these forensic stars, you're like, man, like, 
they like we have all this technology, like shit can be done so easily. They can catch you, you know. Yeah, yeah that shit that was, that was, that was, like, like, like that probably is harder, you know. That would go the whole other way, like if you would have like been yeah. carrying and shot that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you'd be locked up for like yeah. shooting that nigga right yeah. now. Like even if you would have died or not. You know what I'm saying? Like because just because like you're in his house. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like you, that's a fucked up situation. Yeah. Like to be fucked. in. Yeah, you're fucked. Like somebody, I was fucked like, up, but I think I played it as best as I could. Yeah, you did. I mean you did. Yeah. Yeah. I just fucking yeah. 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 out of there. I didn't touch him, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like but And like, I think that like Fucked with him in the head too, cause like he didn't expect like, that. He, nah, he expect yeah. you probably to get at him or something. Yeah, like, yeah. So you can keep continuing yeah. or whatever, but you didn't. Yeah. Yeah. I don't that's, know how that's how just react so crazy shit about the law. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. just how that shit could go. Cause like it, even if you would have tried to defend yourself in any other in any type of way, like you probably would have went down for that shit. You know what I'm saying? You played it the way that like, yo, like. I, just I, gotta gotta I mean, I could like barely use my arm afterwards. Right. So there was not a lot I could have done. Like I'm left-handed, he got me my left. Well, and like arm, you said, like, the shock too, especially drinking yeah, so much. Right. I mean, yeah. it's one thing to be like, oh, I would do this. I would say fight or flight. Oh, I'd fight whatever. Right. But if you're fucked up, you're like, wait, nah. what the? I think you freeze. No, like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I just sat there and I just kept like, I, I to me it was like I didn't especially even feel the like, yeah. And we were drinking a lot and like you know, to me it was just like. It was like I was an other. It was like I was a third party. On you were watching. Oh, like yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I I was you. just like, oh shit! I see these holes in my fucking arm. I'm yeah. just gonna ask you though, like, because like me and this dude we were chilling for like four fucking hours, like shooting the shit, talking about everything, like, like running, you know, you know. What so I mean? here's like, a question: Do you think the hey, let's meet up with girls thing was a front? I don't know. I don't know, man. Like, I think. Hell yeah. He How was. I think he was opportunistic. He saw. He wanted you to fuck him tonight. He saw me taking my trash out, looking good, sure, that that, that, that's whatever, that's right? He saw you. To and he saw me already because I was already pretty drunk, right? And he was probably like, like, "Okay, okay, okay like." Busy. Cause the way, if you think about it, <laughs> right? Moose we go to we go to Pistoleros. He got two chicks there already, right? Like, but it's like. If you're a straight dude and you're trying to get with some girls or there's two girls meeting you, you're not like, oh, what should I bring to this party? Another fucking dude I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, why would the signs you were there, Right? Although, like, if that was happening, if there were two girls and you kind of had like an in with one, you're like, all right, I got to have somebody to kind of, you know, cancel out the duff. I don't know, man. Possible. I think, I think he saw me kind of already tipsy and was like, hey, like, easy mark or something. Because apparently he's done this before, like, and so, I mean, I don't know. So, like, everything we talked about thus far has had to do with, like, towing the line of uh, legalities, right? Like... The yeah. weed with Shakari Richardson, uh, she shouldn't know the rules. Uh, Cosby flip flopping on that. Allen's shitty situation, where really it's a you can't win situation. Like there's no win. Yeah. So you won. You you felt like the one winning is yeah. like per, you know. No, I'm so thankful for life after this because the doctors were like dog like one you more are so lucky. Like mm -hmm. if this one was an inch this way, he would have hit the artery and he would have like bled out. If this one was an inch that way, it would have snapped your bicep. And you wouldn't have had use of your arm for like months until like after major surgery and rehab, like. And then also, dude could have just gone and hit my yeah, neck or some yeah, shit. Yeah, like, right. Right. Kills, you know? shit. So now I'm just like, but guess, oh my god, like every I, there's no more bad days anymore because I was like, oh yeah, shit. I'm like, gonna say something right now. I probably shouldn't be saying, but it is what it is. If that would have happened, we would have retaliated. Retaliated. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. I don't give a fuck. No, straight up, cause like, bro, we are all like close friends and shit. You know what I'm Yo, saying? That's, let me out. <laughs> <laughs> let me out, B. But I fuck things. Y'all, y'all know how I get down. To, you know what I mean? So my thing is, I'm just saying a bunch of shit I shouldn't be saying right now. But it is what it is, bro. Like that's bullshit. Once again, you handle it fucking that's well. That's a scary ass situation. I'm glad that like God like, was over you, you in that moment, right? It's like, if I was you, bro, I don't know how I would react if I'm in Roach. I don't know what the fuck I would have did, you know? So you handled it very well once again, bro. And I'm still glad you're here, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Life is crazy, man. It really yeah. is. Goddamn. It just oh, makes shit. you think, you know, like, shit can go crazy at any moment, you know what I mean? Or Everything, just, just, I you always... Know, you gotta value the moment. Like, yeah. Like, we're so resilient in so many ways. You know, we get a cut, we literally heal ourselves, you know? You can get a, you know, get fucked up, whatever. You get a hangover, you're literally drink, drinking poison, 
Mm. And you're just okay. I mean, I know we all do. We're having the poison right now. We are. You know, it might take you a day. On an empty stomach. You're back on it. But at the same time. you just stay drunk, you never catch a hangover. I do a. Bro, I'm sorry. I'm drinking this Modelo every day. Hair it down. But then you end up going out with your neighbor and getting stabbed. Well, what I'm saying, though, is it's all about like single individual moments. You know, like it's so fragile in the sense that everything can just be going on this track and everything's going right, you have ne you're completely caught with your pants down. Mm -hmm. No pun intended, not that that actually happened. He <laughs> wanted that happen though. Yeah. But you know, and just like that, in the blink of an eye, he would have creamed on himself. boom, everything that you know was just done. It's it's nuts, man. Damn, Tina. I got some nuts back there. <laughs> hey, absolutely, okay. So funny story, Gary. <laughs> funny story. <laughs> Gary, Gary, please yeah. tell, so please tell the story yeah. we were roommating okay. about the guy that texted you about the sugar daddy. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so, uh, well, so, back, so back when me and Jock were uh, roommating and shit, um, I guess uh, I, I ended up switching from T-Mobile to Metro. And just, I was like, man, let me switch teams. Yeah, so, <laughs> I was like, no, 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 did that burn just cause yeah so, so, I put, so I put the chip in and then like this dude started texting me I guess I guess it was like an older older black dude that got stood up by like some chicks and I guess the chick name was Tina so Jock was like hey bro like let's go along with it see if they can give you some money <laughs> so I'm like shit alright bro you're not being seen so 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 it's so like uh, he's like bro the text him I'm like I forgot what we said but I was like yeah uh, maybe I, I, yeah he's like, like short response yeah so like, it's, it's funny it's funny he was like he's like an old head so he's like yeah he's like, he's like, he's like Tina what's, what's going on girl or something like that and we're, we're giving him a whole voice and everything. He yeah. animated, so we're like, so in our head, we're like, he sound like an OG, so we're like, yeah. No, he loved the voice, though. I didn't know he did. Oh, he did. Like, yeah, Tina, just like, text me. Yeah, Tina, just text please. me, girl. So he thought it was a girl. girl. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah. So, so we're like, so like, man, can you imagine, like, we sent this nigga a picture? Hair and, and, yeah, and, yeah. And if you're gonna see some nuts, nah, we didn't do it. So, ask Brad when you're not taking it out of shit, like, damn, see that Tina, see you got some nuts, huh? You got some nuts, huh? <laughs> yeah. Obviously, so didn't do it, but so, so we created a whole inside joke. Like, damn, that'll be funny as fuck. Yeah. Hey, uh, no shame, shit. I have a close friend. I won't mention names. Yeah. After the podcast, I'll totally snitch on him. But he had like a not quite sugar daddy, but somebody that wanted to be a sugar daddy. So he was like, nah. But you can still send me stuff. So the guy would always hook him up with shit, like always in hopes of like, oh, one day, one day. <laughs> Sipping hard. There's some weird shit out there, man. And he never tried. I mean, he told me he never tried anything. He never struck me as the type that would, but you never know, man. It's just the, the yeah, sips, man. Weird, man. Me and John was talking about that shit on like, I've been like, oh, yeah, people were just like weird, period, bro. Like, yeah. And we're talking about I Tinder. These apps, yeah. bro. Like, I feel like, I don't know, man. Like, it's a lot of like strange, weird shit. So what is that? You know, it's funny. I was actually throwing together some clips for like old clips we talked about. Alan, you made a couple of those. So nice, check it out. Nice. And uh, one of the things that came up was dating in the 21st century. We were talking with Antonio about this actually, and how you know it's like interviewing for a job, and you know you when you're going on an app, you're probably just looking to check boxes, but there's really no way to data computate compatibility unless you're in a black mirror episode right yeah but i'm curious now so i'm you know married three years now going on four in december i'm so detached from all that shit and even then when i was in my single phase i usually would just kind of meet people through people you know get lucky i never really got on the apps much i know right now god forbid anything happened if i was to be single i know no other way to meet people of the opposite sex, right? So I am very curious, being so detached from it now, what that scene is like. Man, it's so, fucking weird. Yeah, so I'm, I'm single again, you know what I mean? I think everybody, everybody knows that now. And so just to kind of clear my mind and shit, I got some of these apps. Not taking it seriously, just kind of just the pastime or whatever. Bro, Tinder? <laughs> it's on some different shit, like for real, for real. Like on some, some weird, like... I like weird shit, but this is like really weird type shit, you know what I'm saying? Some I'm going, shit. yeah, it's, it's on some different shit, bro. I already, I had this That's one white chick hit me up like, hey, you know, you're handsome, all this 
I support Black Lives Matter. Oh, the shit about town. I'm like, all right, cool. Okay. Yo. Oh, okay. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, yeah, I'm like, okay, but I'm gonna go with it because I'm, I'm curious. All right, you know, I love your clothing line too. You're like, what's up, dude? So I have my clothing line, right? Hope when the only reason why I got it, first of all, is to broke my clothing line. To be honest with you, I was bored. And I was like, let me try to find models. X Y Z. Anyways, back to the story. So she was like, you know, um, would it be cool if? We like meet up and like my fiance watches me like fuck me. And, like <laughs> he's one of those watch, you know, sure. just, just watch and we record each other and all this. Cause like <laughs> he really he really likes to, you know, you don't see like how a black guy fucks. <laughs> and so I got in the cut Yeah, yeah, so right, so I was like talked about it for a minute. <laughs> I did for a second. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> you know, but I was like, bro. Like what? You know what I mean? Like, I didn't know how to react to it in that point because I'm like, I was just it, it was when we ex like just matched. You know what I'm saying? We didn't have a conversation, bro. She just bam. So I'm like, man, it's a fucking setup. I don't know. You know what I mean? So I got this big hotel on my lonesome, and I want you to come through. Oh, so you went? I oh. didn't. Oh. I I thought about it for a second, but I was like, nah, that's too. They like, told you they had the hotel. And yeah, everything. I was like, that's too <laughs> sketch and like too forced, especially with the guy and shit. I was like, ah, yeah, I'm, I'm like, good. Well, you know? that shit seems weird because like. I don't know. I feel like ten to some shit like you kind of looking for like not even like long term. You may look for like some short term shit, but like it takes a while. You know what I'm saying? Like because you're gonna be already in a fucking hotel type shit. Hotel. That's yeah. like some crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's like we already booked the room now. We just gonna go online and see who fucking says yeah. this. Like, <laughs> and my Tinder, thing is, I mean, it feels like it comes with the territory, right? Like a lot of times if you're going on Tinder. That and again, I, like I said, I'm blind to this shit. But when that Tinder was the only one that I used when I was single, I and that was more. Down. Well, now it wasn't. It wasn't free. Bumble is more high class. I, but I feel like that. Bumble, right, is more right. dating as opposed to Tinder. Feels more like maybe the casual section of Craigslist. It's still meeting random. People. You can make casual oh, yeah. anything you want. I will say this, guys. You don't have to call them back, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I will say this. I feel like it's you uh, know a lot. Like I, I, let me make bad. a let me make a comparison. If you look at oh, what's the best streaming service, yeah, I would always say oh HBO Max. Max. Uh -huh. But the reason why, I mean, it's kind of based on the content that you have. I mean, I've also said like, oh, Amazon Prime has good videos. Lately, they haven't had shit, and Hulu's had movies and shit like that. So it's kind of, I guess it's it's the, the, the dating app is only going to be as good as the... Some of my boys are like, nah, no, like, you really got to go on Hinge. That's like where blah, blah, blah. But Hinge, I tried, I downloaded it, and they were like, you got to get six photos. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I got like four, and then I was like, "This is too much work." Yeah, like, like back to Bumble. Like, I got six. I want like. Well, that's like, the weird like, thing too. Uh, also, though, but, but getting back to what you were saying, if uh, I see all these profiles and like white chicks or whatever, and if like the first thing in their their bio is like uh, Black Lives Matter, I'm like, all right. <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it's we like, know what you about. Like, you know what I mean, like. I agree back on that too, but like, you know, ABC. like, yeah, it's a weird like, thing to leave with in your dating, bro, because also, you know, like, what I, mean, I yeah. you just like, want to indicate, you know, I mean, they're open, like, they're open minded, you know, yeah, like, yeah, you know, like, I, like, I, I, I think what this, you're looking for, that's great, that's good. I, I think but, this too, yeah. and like, Chance and Gary, y'all can relate, Caleb too, you know, shout out to Caleb. <laughs> But, uh, Are we talking interracial relationships? Because this was sounds like, like we're talking about. I guess we we really okay, so yeah, I yeah. actually this was a docket thing that I thought okay if we have time we'll talk about this. Um, I I guess the the, the connection the way I was going to lead into this <clears throat> is I've been laughing about the whole I feel like there's always the whole oh all women are type photos and memes and videos and shit like that like oh all women do like this and all women do like this just like generalized videos basically in my opinion guys got hurt heartbroken mm -hmm. like oh all women are like this or whatever what is it what? my question is okay even if you live under that premise of okay all women are the same how much does and i don't but the question is how much does race change all that Ooh, you know i got some shit to say about that bro that's why i put it on the docket Cause you know I come from, and it kind of relates to the story actually, you told. It, yeah. it relates to the story you told, where it kind of, in in a way, that did you feel like you were kind of objectified, like black black fetish? Kind yep, of yep. Yeah, no, 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 no. So that, that, that's so, where I was going with that. Yeah, yeah. I know this is something you wanted to get uh, off your chest. No, for fact. So I feel, and maybe y'all can relate or not. You know what I'm saying? But like a lot of women that are not of the black race. 
they only deal with us because of like, our meat. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they, <laughs> nah, bro, like they fetishize the black dick. They'll never admit that, of course. If you ask them, nah, I, I dated black guys before you and all this other shit. But like when you start asking them like the whole serious shit, like marriage and all this real shit, they don't want to talk about that or they don't know. And unless you're, you're making six figures or something, and maybe they'll think about it. You know what I'm saying? But like. They're a tourist. Yeah, and it's like, bro, so like, why are you even getting with me, right? You know, and I never thought about the whole bad shit because I feel like it was a myth, right? Until like recent stuff started happening and past stuff happening that I've kind of peeped now. Because like, like, when you're in it, you don't realize until like you're kind of out of it. You're like, damn, like, was that it? You know, like, is, was this person with me? Like, I was dicking her down good? Or like, because like, you don't know how I'm all like, I got meat. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it is what it is. You know, shit. I'm, He's laying it out there. Yeah, it is what it, it is. It. Yeah, I'm just being real. You know what I'm saying? So like, I'm not going to hide it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so us, you know what I'm saying? Everybody listening that's black or whatever. Pay attention to that, bro. If you start trying to have serious talks with some of these females and they just, they don't know and all this shit, but they still just like hooking up with you and y'all going out and partying and shit, bro, they don't really like you. It's like your dick. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to really be weary of that, you know? But unless, unless, that's, unless, that's, that's okay. But here's the thing, but it, <laughs> look, it's, it's okay if, if you want it to be that, you know what I mean? But like, if you want something more serious and it's like, you, you really just wasting your time because at the end of the day, they're not really gonna see that serious side of it, if that makes sense, you know, just the fucking aspect, which is cool, but that shit gets boring after a while, you know what I'm I saying? Mean, like, it is can... hard. If you're in a, if you're in a, in a situation ship, shout out, call back to an old episode. Yeah. If you're in a situation ship where you know it's just, I guess if you look at the old stereotypes, guys just want physical, women want the emotional side. It's hard sometimes being on the other side of that, where maybe they have more of just the physical connection with you, and you actually kind of like them. So right. I can understand if there are certain circumstances yeah. like race. I feel like that nobody wants to be objectified. But my thing yeah. is like we're too old now. Like that was cool when we was younger and shit, but like we in our thirties and shit now. It's like, Chance, we're talking about that, right? Like you can fuck and shit, but like it's only so much you can do that before it's like, all right, you know, like what are you really? Doing? I think like, we're all cool. jaded now to where we know I'm that. Jaded. We're, we de we know that that no matter how good something is, I mean, you can have like a friendship. We're friends to the death. You can have a relationship. You know, I'm married. I'm gonna. I intend to be married to the death. You know what I mean? Like you can have things like that that remain mostly permanent. But outside of that, I think we're old enough now to where we recognize that everything, good or bad, is temporary. Yeah, so you yeah. can live an ideal, and after a while, it's like, all right, man. Like I. Even outside of COVID, I started a new job a year and a half ago where I was working from home, right? And I'm still there now. And obviously, a lot of people have been working from home the last year. But the novelty, novelties wear off, I guess is my bigger point yeah. here, right? Like the novelty of working from home, I was like, man, that's really cool. I have flexibility. The other day, if I want to work out, I could do that. Go pick up groceries, drop the baby off at my grandparents, you know, at the grandparents' house, whatever the case. But the novelty of it kind of wears off because you're like, all right, well, I kind of miss those little bullshit small talk. I'm bored. Talks. Yeah, like, exactly. I don't know, I'm bored at the house and shit by myself. I mean, you don't realize like the little things. Yeah. I, I'll never tell you that I miss a commute because I hate sitting in traffic. But commute was often my times where I would listen to podcasts. Mm -hmm. yeah. Your habits change. Like, it was hey, where the hell do I listen now? Yeah, you reflect, right? You kind of have to yourself. Like, so, yeah. well, and the, the, the grand point there, sorry, I know I'm grandstanding here, but the, the, the big point there too, I feel like we forget the value of just being bored. Like, no, just right, finding right. some shit with your own thoughts, thinking about stuff to yourself. And I think that's why we do bullshit like getting haircuts or right. mowing the yard or something right. monotonous like that because it's forced time to not do anything other than just that task and wherever your mind wanders, it's allowed to just wander yeah. up to. Like, I used to get haircuts every two weeks, just every 10 days. Now I'm at my dude once a week, every Friday. No, my that shit's always sharp, man. Bro, because like, it's like therapy, bro. I'm like, this is my fucking dude. Like, we fucking, I'm like, damn, like, I feel fucking great after yeah. I get out of there. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And like, that's like, I mean, yeah. Like, like, you need things that. like that. Like you need that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you have to like do something. Like and, you know, too. You gotta get out of the, like your own fucking. Shout out, David, the Argyle League. <laughs> yeah. So, 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 no, you gotta get out of like, your own. Like, 
Dude. Fucking just uh, like who is it? Horrible. It's a uh, Dom. Dom. Well, and I think what? part of that what? is yeah. Yeah. They had the same barber. Oh, yeah, the same barber. No, 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 it's another. He doesn't guy. cut I, me, I, but I, I, grew, I grew up with him. Yeah, like, like, yeah, like, cool like, shit. Yeah, like it's his dad and uh and Kendall are. Okay, that's what's up. Yeah, we're working. The point I was gonna make. I want to say something about that. Yeah, in relationship, just like okay. Before we get to that, one more thing. Um. Nah, the point about what Chance was making there too that I think is important. If you don't have that that boring, monotonous time to just be in your own head, I think that's where a creative outlet comes in. If you're an artist, oh, you draw, facts, paint. Facts. And I've always said, I think I've said on the podcast too, it's like a recap episode, but I've said I think it's very important to have a creative outlet. But I think even taking it, you know, minimizing it even beyond that, I think it's just having something that you can be mindless to get lost in. Bro, so you just kind of wander off with it, you know? Like a lot, like all these videos that y'all been sending me creating and shit for, for Blink and then it's for myself and whatever else. That's that's from sadness. Me being sad and shit, you know? Uh, me just creating shit because it's, it's helping me. Plus, I'm creative, right? And so a lot of that just stems from just shit, breakups. The breakup, you know? Like, I'm being real with you. Like, we're most creative when we're like, yeah, because like, shit, I feel like. I'm still hurt behind that shit. I mean, I'm be honest with you, like we human. I mean, it, it just happened. You know what I'm saying? Like not too, like a couple of months ago or whatever. I'm not gonna say the exact time, but like you hurt, right? Yeah, I still love the person. Cause like we're together for like years and shit. And so it's just like, it sucks when you think one thing in your head and it just doesn't come out to be that. That makes sense, yeah. right? And so one thing I wanna say about like- if Race thing, right? If you are dating somebody outside your race, you gotta make sure y'all values are really aligned in the very, very beginning. You gotta make sure your finances are right, because they ain't gonna fuck with you if you're not. They never say that, but like finances is fucking crucial. That's key to every but body. You gotta be kind of the same level type shit. If you're broke and they still fuck with you, then you know it's real, right? Ah, I yeah, no, nah, that's, that's, that's facts. Because I've been on both sides of that. Right. Like I've had money and not had money. Right. And honestly, some of my most best like committed relationships mm-hmm. were like before I had money. The right. ones where I was really like, damn, like. Yeah, and you know I, what I mean, I feel like, you. I feel you. Like, like, yeah, yeah. So like my my ex, like she wasn't like that. Like luckily, she she didn't really care about the money and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like she really held a nigga down at like a lot of times. Like I've been out with you know with bad situations, me like Apple situation, you know whatever else happened. She didn't help hold me down. But I noticed from other things, other relationships that I've seen, like that's been an issue, right? Because like the parents, the culture thing, right? You know what I'm saying? Like if you already- I'm glad you whatever, mentioned parents, man. Yeah. I have a whole point about that. So having the baby mm-hmm. has really kind of shaken me up. I'll take a minute. Is that one good? Oh, I do. I do. You want to toss these out. Go, go get your one. Probably got I'll take another one. We'll probably take about 10 more minutes here. Mm-hmm. But the thing I was going to say about the parents, man, like Having the baby, <clears throat> you know, we're, we're all independent. We've been independent for a lot, you know, a long time now. Yeah, yeah. And, you, you know, I, I think oftentimes, I don't even, not, and I don't want to minimize the parents with this, so just follow along with me. Uh, you know, I don't need my parents, I'm good. You know, I'm a, I'm a grown person, I'm an adult and all that kind of shit. You have a lot of influence, though. So. Man, when the baby came around, then you realize how much more that you still, like, need them, right? Because they've... We couldn't, if we lived, I've always said, oh man, what's stopping us from just go living somewhere else, exploring outside of Texas, right? Man, the grandparents, you don't have the grandparents, you lose out on a lot of support and help, and they're great with, yeah. not only just helping the baby, but they have that unconditional love for them, you know? Mm-hmm. I think that's and, just something with our generation, too. Like, we don't, do you think we don't want to, like, like, we're, we're kind of like titty babies, bro. Like, we want to yeah. be close as possible to our parents. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, like, if that's, like, just, like, some random mental thing that we have. Or, like, if it's just, like, you know, growing up in our time, we were, like, always, like, kind of just, even as far as we, uh, we want to be from our parents, we were, like, still mad, mad close. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, like, that's why, like, a lot of us, we don't move out until, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're fucking... In our twenties, like mid twenties, like, with my like, parents. Save my I mean, it's, I'm saying it's it's smart because you say like, it's okay to do that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you know what Which I'm saying? is unique to our generation. It is. Not well, maybe not throughout entire time, but through our lifetime. Right. I don't feel like our generation, our parents' generation. Well, over like the past like hundred or so years. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm I mean, part, part and I feel like it's the housing market. So yeah, I feel like it's okay to do that at certain ages, right? Like, this is my opinion. I feel like it's okay to do that at certain ages, but, like, since we're all older and shit, 
and some of the older chicks were talking, they expect you to be on your shit, bro. It is, it is what it is. That's you know true. Like, they That's want true. you to have your own shit just because, like, they're probably already getting there. Well, already there, I think it's know? I think it's it's a difference, though. I think they'd be understanding if it's more of a willingness and a, hey, I don't have any alternatives that to me sound better than this versus mm-hmm. a dependence. Right, if you have like, a point. Exactly. I have to live mm-hmm. with my parents because I have no other options. I could see if some hate, you know, but mm-hmm. if it's like, hey, if this gets serious, we can move out and get our own place, House, but yeah. until then, I'm chilling doing my own thing. Right, right. But what I was going to mention about parents is you really don't realize, or I can't say you, I didn't realize as much. Mm-hmm. It, it, maybe it's more of a reminder yeah. how much impact they really have on who you are. Yeah, 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 you know, you're I right. mean, you're right, bro. We're talking about uh, all these things. Kind of come back. I don't know. I had this realization the other day. I think it was maybe like a, a cowherd point he made about Derek Jeter or something about. I don't know. Yeah. They they met his parents. So they were pretty confident based on his parents that he was never going to shame the Yankees. Like he was always just going to be pinstripes for life. Like okay, prim and proper. And it's true, man. Like so much does go to the parents. So much of who we are. So, I don't know, just random shout out to the parents, I guess. No, and no, Max, because you worked you, its way in. But it also it also has a relation to the, the racial stuff, right? I think that when you come into an interracial relationship, I think about, I mean, Emily's obviously very white. <laughs> but <laughs> if she wasn't, if she, was just like, no, if she were black, I've thought about, you know, interracial relationships. <laughs> no, no, no. Let, He's going somewhere. Yeah, go ahead. Go. I've thought about interracial relationships, and a lot of times it's like, okay, if I was to end up with, you know, a black wife, what would that be like? And I think about my parents, and I'm like, I really don't think they would say anything. Care, and yeah. it kind of makes me grateful that they're okay. not that old state of mind, closed minded, you know, oh, mm. that, you know, this, that, and the other. So I feel like a lot of that does play into the, the interracial relationships. I right. feel like if you have your person that you're seeking out, their their parents have a lot of influence on how they're going to be. If you find one that has a great mom, you're good. Right, because my thing is my mom's, my mom's like this. She's very open. She don't care who the fuck I'm with. You know what I mean? That's why I'm the way I am. What I was going to say, bro, it's a little easier, right, when you are with somebody of the same culture and race. I will say that because, like, some things that – yeah, I just understand. It's already understood, right? You know what I mean? Like, you can watch fucking Juice or some shit, and, like, they seen the shit, same shit, too, so they know certain things you may say, right? Versus somebody that's, like, Southeast Asian, white, or whatever, they're probably not going to get it. Like, oh, what are you talking about, right? So the point I'm making is, bro, if you are dating somebody outside your race, you got to make sure you really fuck with each other's culture. Like, heavy. Like, on yeah. both ends. Not the surface level shit. Not the music. And, like, I, y'all have all been up. there, man. Like, y'all have yeah, all been there to a certain extent. I mean, Gary, you too? It's a y'all two-way street, though. Chance? It's not just, like, I fuck with your... You gotta really fuck with mine, too. Because being a black man, Gary, Chance, Caleb, it's always gonna be shit happening, like, with us. It's not gonna go away. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a bunch of more just fucked up shit. It's been fucked up shit, right? So when that happens, you gotta be able to stand, like, with your man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You gotta be able to, like, handle that shit. You gotta be mentally tough to date somebody black, like, straight up. I don't give a fuck what, pe- what anybody thinks about that. That's just what it is, being a black man in America, you know? And so, listeners, that's all I want to tell y'all, you know? I mean, relationships are all compromise. So, mm-hmm. that, that means everything. And if you yeah. can't compromise on something like race, mm-hmm. I mean, the foundations of the relationship just aren't going to work out. Yeah, and people feel like, oh, you know, I love music and, like, the, the, the fashion and all that. To me, that's, like, surface-level bullshit, bro. I'm going for Obama. Right, you know, it's, like, dumb shit like that. It's, like, bro, do you know the real shit, though? You know what I'm saying? And that's it. I, I can talk forever, you know what I mean? I'm excited we back, you know what I mean? Don't hate yeah. me. It's a good-ass episode. Bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're covering a lot of ground here. Mad for five minutes show, man. Mm-hmm. Hey, a lot more of this coming. You know, we're going to be bouncing around. around. Mobile stew. We're gonna record at spots. Hey, we'll probably oh, record the next spots. one at spots. Allen spot. We're due for one oh, of those. Oh, crime scene. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Hey, okay. we hey, should hey, do a video. video. Bro, bro, this is a, original question before the, the que- before they answer that the question. This is the Georgetown edition. So this yeah. nigga is fucking before fresh as fuck. The this Caleb get this nigga's outfit, man. Six, bro. This nigga got the hey. fucking watch. Got the fucking shirt. Got the the uh, motherfucking riff rap glasses. Riff rap joints. Riff rap joints. Shout the riff rap. She ain't got the kicks, man. I see you, boy. <laughs> Twilight. And attack. Show the attack real quick. And attack. That reminds me of Gucci, man. Kind of. It's for Gucci. Hey. <laughs> hey. Bird. It got embellished Bird. a little bit. <laughs> Speaking of for Gucci, <laughs> like, this like, album was great. This album was, great. Oh, this album was fucking yeah. That's hey, we're due great. for a play by ear. This is a good time. Play by ear. 
rip it up. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is a good time to play play it by ear, you know, podcast about music. We wanted to talk a little bit about Call Me If You Get Lost, so this mm-hmm. is probably good, like, to be continued about that. Mm-hmm. Dedicate plenty of time on that to the next play by ear. The rollout specifically, but Roll also... Out. Kind of like, you know, Tyler discography conversation. We got a lot of stuff cooking with that. Other couple pods that are in the, in the uh, you know, half-baked section right now. Eventually, we'll get them getting getting in going. But, hey, you know what to do. Subscribe, follow, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube. Check us out on social media at The Rep Network. And, uh, yeah, catch us next time. All right. Don't at us. Peace. Peace out. Hey, that was... Okay.